some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Lowell, Massachusetts with a frauditor who just doesn't seem to get that Target is a privately owned company open to the public. Uh, you know, one of those kind of nitwits. And guess what? She ends up getting trespassed for her idiocy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? And give me your names, please. Oh, it doesn't matter. You're in public, so you don't have that right. And so this is public property when it's your parking. This is a First Amendment protected activity. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, you want to make a bet? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then go ahead. Go. Call, call the cops. We'll see. Okay. Because I know my rights. <laughs> it's a First Amendment protected. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm standing here with the sign. At all. I'm not. It's still a protected act. Do you not know the First Amendment? Look it up. It's called Look it up. It's illegal. But they got sued. They, you can ask anybody for anything you want. It's a First Amendment protected activity. Okay. No, stop. Please, don't do anything. Make it stop. Well, come on now. you got to use these sound effects sparingly so they don't drive away your audience. Now, with that being said, I take it that you probably never been employed with a retail store am i right because well i have and one of the first things they tell you on orientation day is that their company is a privately owned business open to the public which basically means they own that lot they own that store they own that parking lot they can kick you off anytime they damn well please as long as somebody in charge of the property deems it so. And they have every right to do it, especially if you become a nuisance to everybody there. Okay, Paul, because you're wrong. And, and you're Maya? Maya? Yeah. And what's your name? You don't need to know that. Uh, it's good citizen. Oh. No, it's not. You guys are the ones working for the public. Uh, no, we work for Target. Not That's no. public. It's open it's to the not, public. It's, it's open. Private yeah, the store. The store. It's yeah. open to the public, so the parking lot is public. No, it's this is such a crock of shit. Yes, it is. The parking lot is maintained by Yes, it is. And if I wasn't videoing you, if you take your Google out and look, you'll see you're absolutely wrong. Well, how about you take your Google out? Yeah, why don't you... Uh, yeah, no, because I'm going to do this because... This because Because you're over here harassing me illegally, uh, no, trying to violate my First Amendment rights. By you panhandling and trespassing. Oh, by me, it's not trespassing. You're open to the public. I'm not doing any illegal act. Panhandling is not illegal. I do every day. No, you don't. Yes, I fucking do. I do because I live right behind there. So. <laughs> So, You're wrong. You absolutely go. Go ahead. They're gonna tell you the same thing. They know me, and they know this is not legal. They got their asses sued years ago for doing that, for kicking people out of public. Oh yes, they did. Yes, they did, because they were giving tickets out and arresting people, and that's called violation of Eighth Amendment right. You can still panhandle all you want, but you have to do that out on the sidewalk. You can't do it on private property, which the Target's parking lot is considered to be private property because Target owns it. And Target has every right to kick your sorry ass off the property because, well, they don't need somebody like you harassing their uh, customers every time they pop up. Then you got the Eighth Amendment, which is about cruel and unusual punishment. Tell me something, frauditor. How is it cruel and unusual punishment to be asked to leave the property and go panhandle on the sidewalk over there? Huh? Can you explain that? I'm asking Criminalizing you. homelessness. So, yeah. No, because I don't have to move when I'm not doing anything illegal off of public property. This is... You think it's private property, but you are wrong. It is public property when it's the parking lot. The parking lot's open to the public, and that's all there is to it. I'm oh, blow it out your ass. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm using a First Amendment protected ass. I'm literally standing here like this. I'm crippled. I can't even. I'm like, please. Hey. 
So, so the only issue here, I don't care if you hold signs or, or Yeah, I'm not, I'll never ask. I'm literally just standing here like this. I'm crippled. I can't even, I'm like. No. But the problem is the private property. So you when a store is open, it's not. If it's open to the public, their parking lot becomes public. Time, place, and manner takes effect. Yeah, but you can't, you can't be on here doing that. I'm. It's a First Amendment protected activity. And McLaughlin no, versus City of Lowell in 2015 right. so, already won. So. And can, I'm sorry, can I get your name and badge? Hey, you nitwit, you're kind of forgetting one thing here. That would be a case against the municipality of the city of Lowell and not the corporation of Target. If you really wanted to take it up with uh, the courts, you could try to do so, but you're going to need a lot of money to do so. So the fact remains that this is a privately owned parking lot owned by Target and therefore is still subject to trespassing laws because it is not a part of the municipality organization of this area and therefore not subject to the same restrictions that were placed upon it by that lawsuit from 2015 upon the property owned by that city. So you're just SOL. Do you have your camera on? Yes, sorry, Thank so you. A lot of people, if they do it, they have a connector here, they'll say it's easy. I'm crippled. I barely made it out here. I'm living way the hell out here. It's like, you don't even shop here. Like, I freaking shop here every damn day. <laughs> but it's a First Amendment. I just looked it up and found a million things of it saying time, place, and manner. That the store is private property. When it's open to the public, it makes their parking lot public. But that's their that's their feelings. That's not the law. And feelings enforcement isn't what you do, right? So you're gonna violate my First Amendment rights? And no, that's what I know. And I will be filing for the FOIA, and I will add you to that because I am a First Amendment auditor, also. Okay. I did more more to play with you. I'm just asking you to move on. Private property. It isn't. It really isn't. It isn't. And. And what if I don't move, you're gonna arrest me? Um, I'll talk to my supervisor. Mm, yeah, you, so, you probably should talk to your supervisor first. What happens if I don't? Because I'm doing nothing about I'm legally protected activity, standing right here. You can't give my free movement out in public and that's what you're trying to do. That's a Fourth Amendment violation. And if you threaten to arrest or fine, that's Eighth Amendment violation. Now, I know you're unfortunately physically disabled at this point, and according to you, you are homeless as well. Well, there are a lot of other homeless frauders out there who do this exact same thing. And guess what? It doesn't exactly work out for them either. Good old Glenn Serio being one of them. It never really works out for him, and he's a nuisance up there in Washington State. Then, of course, there's your bitching about the uh, violations of your Fourth and Eighth Amendments. Uh, you don't even know what the hell you're talking about, since your Fourth Amendment right uh, guarantees that you will not have your personal possessions seized without uh, due process and everything like that. And not to mention the Eighth Amendment, which I already covered. So basically, you are just... Uh, throwing shit on the wall and seeing what sticks and it's not really sticking at all so you really suck at this this is private property it's not i'm literally at the street light and even if i was in their parking lot it's open to the public therefore their parking lot when it closes down yeah if i'm out here when they're closed down the plaza's all closed down then it would be a thing because it's time place manner is what, how that works with the thing not want to leave is that what you're saying you stay here can you i don't want to leave I, i'm not doing anything wrong and i don't like my rights violated hey i it's, it's, it's private problem. okay is this your help is he a supervisor yeah, I, I, no it's not my supervisor I, i'll call him yeah because i just looked it all up while they were calling you too this is ridiculous if they threaten to arrest or do something like that, then I'll move under the threat of duress, and then I'll sue. Yeah, I don't know why you think of the deal, but it's 
literally just stand off the off the, off the property here. And Where? Look. Where? Where's right off the, the property? Here, on the property. I'm They're like barely up. standing, officer. My knee is popped out. My hip has been done. Right that sign right there, you like Right that sign would be on the property. What sign? Over there? Nobody comes over there. <laughs> like, uh, I already told you the best place to go would be But right that's why there. I wanted a supervisor Because it's a right First Amendment protected there, activity behind. And when the store is open to the public Their parking lot is public It's private property Not when it's a parking lot Their store is private But when they're open I just looked they, it up can, I just got the whole law They can trespass you They can give you a place. trespass Anyone they want out of the store Only if the, you can't get trespassed yes, Out of can. a public place Unless you're committing an illegal act And there we go One of the most common Frauder myths out there That you can't be trespassed From anywhere Unless you've already Committed a crime No I have read The trespassing laws For many of the states In this country And not one of them That I have read Has the prerequisite a fence right there. All they have to do is ask you to leave, and if you don't leave, well, then it's trespassing, and then you can be arrested for it. I mean, good freaking grief for somebody who just claims that they do their research. You're not very good at this, are you? They can be trespassed. Anyone they want trespassed on. Not unless it's you, their property. Only if you're committing oh, illegal no, Well, inside the store, you're correct. You are correct about inside the store, yes. Yeah, if they want to be dicks and do it there. But it's the same thing. This, this just happened in 2015, McLaughlin versus City of Lowell for the same thing. And they won the Supreme Court. So this is the first amendment protected. According to the cops, it was private. <laughs> the Supreme well, Court this, said it this wasn't. It's 100% private property. It's not private property, I'm telling you. So you won't get a supervisor. And you're gonna violate my First Amendment right and my Fourth Amendment right okay, if you're on for free public movement. Sidewalk, you're good to go. But right. This isn't a public sidewalk. It's a parking lot that's open to the public. During, private. have you ever heard of time, place, manner? Do you even know the five elements of the First Amendment? Can you? Can, what's your name and badge number? Correct. And. Do you know what the First Amendment is? You're, yes, you do, actually. You're a public servant. You work for me. You work for we the people. So you don't give attitude. That's not cool. You still give an attitude, but you just... Oh, my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Oh, now we got a whiny little crybaby on our hands. Now that uh, there, she's being told that she is wrong by the authorities and everything like that, she's getting butthurt. She's trying to browbeat this police officer on things that she has no idea about. Oh yeah, this is her last resort, so she's got nothing left really in the tank. But it's only a matter of time before she's kicked off the property because of that. Can't help it? Okay. I'm not giving attitude, like, yeah, I'm just right. stating the law, like, so I don't expect attitude back. Right. Like, and if you're going to threaten to arrest me or something, then I'll move that. under duress. I and did not say that. So. No, but he did. Don't have, he put, is, so. like, <laughs> don't have to put words in my mouth. No, not you. You it's didn't say that. Much. Sorry, it's hard for me to move. My knees popped out and my hip is... <laughs> Total junk and been replaced a million times. Um, so nothing. I'm just. I literally have been standing here for like an hour. Not about. I don't talk to people. I just stand here. My First Amendment right. No, I'll stand here. Hold the sign. Technically, it's just private property. But technically, time, place, and manner. When a place is open to the public and serves the public, their parking lot isn't private when it's open. But you dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Oh. It's if they want you removed, this. we can give you a no trust card. Okay, so. Okay, so if I move, then it's under duress of threat of trespass or arrest, and you're violating my First and Fourth Amendment, and you're violating my First and Fourth Amendment. Right. They don't want you on the property. It doesn't. <laughs> I'm not committing a crime, and I'm out in public. I'm not in their store. That's what you don't understand. It's not, and if you looked it up, you'd see. It's not. When the parking, when the store is open to the public, anything open to the public, their parking lot is public. Your intellect.
is as weak as your dollar. Okay, so then you're kicking me out of a public you're not, you're not, parking lot doing, for doing a First Amendment activity. Nothing illegal. You're not doing business here and they don't want you on their property. I'm not doing anything illegal and you just admitted that you know this is public property. I understand you're not doing anything illegal. They just don't want you on your, but their he, property. But when you're on public property, you can't be trespassed just because feelings. You don't enforce feelings. You enforce the law. Really? And it's their feelings have, that they want they me off of public property. If I'm in their store and doing stuff... They don't have a right to tell you to leave their property? It's not their property. Like you just said, I'm out no, in the I public. No, I it is their property. You just, you just backtrack it now and it's on camera, so... Public. And while, while time, place, and manner, while it's open, it does. As long as it's open to the public... It does. I just, I know my constitution and I know in and out. Yeah. Can you quote any of the uh, seven articles or all 27 amendments? If not, then, well, you don't know it inside and out. And that's the problem with some of these frauders. Some of these frauders actually think that there's only, well, a few amendments to the constitution rather than 27. And they don't even know about, which gives descriptions of how the government is formed. Yeah. They don't even know about those. I wonder if she knows. And because I'm homeless and I've had to deal with this, trying to get kick, kicking me out of parking lots at a public and what do you have? What is that sign? What is it? Disabled, homeless. Okay. Need cat litter and you're trying to get a against you're forcing me off a of public property because I'm doing a protected right, activity. Right. It's not, it's yeah. not, and you'll see when I file all the complaints and all well, the four years okay, and everything. And um, What is could, your name and badge number? Your supervisor? Yep. Sergeant? Yep. All right, well, I'm leaving under duress then, and okay. you violated my First and Fourth Amendment right, okay. and I'm. this is uh, the first step in telling you there's going to be a lawsuit. Okay. I'm, in, I'm telling you, you got your notice go the that there's going to be a yeah, lawsuit. You can do that, okay? yeah, you, I don't need directives from you. I'm a big girl. Thank you. I'm a big girl. No, I don't need any more illegal directives from you. I'm good. Excuse me. All right. Sorry. Have a good night. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to end the video right here, folks. I mean, all this is from this point on is her whining, crying, and complaining, and using her circular reasoning to try to get over on the cops, but it really doesn't work because Target is a privately owned company open to the public, even its own parking lot. But her minutes and minutes of looking up this kind of thing in a uh, bad copy of Black's Law Dictionary just says otherwise, apparently. I guess that's what she thinks, but she's still trespassed. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?